So now, uh, Professor Liu is going to teach you to do Chapter Two, Class Work Number One. Maria Guerrero needs a program that calculate and display the volume of a rectangular pool. Complete the IPO chart for the program and solve the program. All right. So number one, I need a word file. So file new. I'm going to do like this, and to get the IPO chart, I need you to do this. Insert a table, and let me do uh, by this way, okay? So, and、uh, let's drag it a little bit bigger, something, okay? So now IPO and input stand for I stand for input process. And output. All right, so I'm going to make it a little bit wider, so larger, so you can see. It's okay, you can see. Now, so I'm going to do this input. So the input here, input are the variable you need. So output we already know. This is volume. Okay, that's what we need. We need volume. Okay. And the input. What do we need? What do we need? So boys and girls, what do we need to calculate the volume of a pool? We need length. We need width, and we also need height. Is that right? Okay. So these are input. These are our volume is output to process. All right. Always. First, you need to declare all variables. All right, that means you need to declare length, width, height, and volume. That's number one. You must declare all variables. All right. Number two, you must get input variables value. All right, you must get input variable and process. Then process here is mathematic, okay? So the process here is volume equal、uh, length times width and times height. All right. Then last one is display. All right. So every single question, every single question. Starting chapter two, I need you to create IPO chart. Okay, so I'm going to say file, save as. Ah,、uh, I'm going to put in my chapter two. Is that right? Chapter two, and this will be my ah、uh, chapter two, ah、uh, class work one. Okay, class work, class work. Okay, class work. So I have IPO chart right now. So one more time, these are length, width, height, and volume. And I need to declare all variable and get input variable value, process, and display. So let's do it right now. Okay. In order to do that, I am going to close solution. And I create new projects. It has C plus plus and PD project. So I click on that. And next, and this will be your chapter two class work underscore one. Create. All right. So right here, source. Right click it. Add a new item. Add a new item. This don't need to change. And I'm just going to call that、uh, chapter two. Class work, ah,、uh, underscore one. Okay, I do the exact same thing for the golden seven line, but I'm going to slash slash and put my name here, and I'm going to put today's day. And ah,、uh, this is chapter ah、uh, two, class work underscore one. Now let me. Do my golden seven line. All 
All right, so after I have my golden seven lines, now I need to do four things. First is slash slash declare variables. And I already uh, mentioned it. If the variables involve that small point, I need to use double. So I probably want double because I may have 8.5. So I'm going to put double and I'm going to put length and width and high and volume. All right. So I, I am going to do this way. So uh, I did it specific different from the example. So you, you will know that I'm, a, I'm allowed, I'm allowed to create, to declare variable in one line. Now, next thing is I need to get input. So I have input, get input values. The input values are length and width and height. So I need to say, see how this, you must do this. Otherwise, the user doesn't know what you want to do. They will have a blank screen. So enter uh, uh, the and among, enter the length. All right, then backslash n. Sorry, backslash n. And see in. So look, it's different. This opposite side right now and length. Okay, now when you type it, it goes right there. All right, and you do the same thing here. See how. Enter the width. Uh, backslash n. And you do C in. And once you type two words or one word, they will pop out for you. And you do the same thing, CL. Enter the high. And C in. High. All right, so if you did it correctly, it will turn to the color of your variables. All right, if you did it incorrect, it will prompt and tell you you typed the wrong thing. Now I got that. I need to calculate process right now. And my process will calculate the volume. All right, so we already know that volume okay will be equal to uh, length times so I type wrong you see that so it tell you now times width and times high now that's the third one is you process then you display right now then you display then see display, you put CL, and you can allow to put some um, title. For example, you say uh, the volume uh, of the pool is, and then you want to do another one. So you have finish and continue. So you put another insertion operator. And that will be volume. And uh, since you don't have backslash n, you want to do end of line e n d e n d l. So right here e n d l and press enter. All right. So you you are allowed to connect several of them together. One more time, you get input, get input. Then you are going to uh, process and display. All right, so you build it right now. You build it. Okay. And you start without debugging. Start without debugging. All right, so you see the prompt right here? The come from here. Enter the length. 
the prompt here. So I say uh, 10 and enter the width come from here. That's why you need to have input prompt. Let me do 6 and the height let me put 4. So the volume of pool is 200, 240. Now notice because I need a space here so I put a, a space in between. I put a space in between. Alright, so I'll copy this code here. Control A, Control C. I'll copy this code here to my IPO right here. Alright, I haven't finished yet. I haven't finished yet. But I only finished number one with my IPO with my code. Then uh, you have an exe file. So at this court, at this moment, you have your exe file, only one exe file, and have your uh, uh, war file, and you continue the rest of them uh, to complete this program. Uh, I hope uh, this small video can help you for the first assignment. Okay.